We will never see this ever again. This is Lay Tomahawk Ankle Snatcher III, a 4'11 lab-generated midget prodigy with a devastating and incurable disease that every time there is a baddie sitting courtside, he can't miss a shot. The Grizzlies found out that La Tomahawk had the Jordan Poole effect and stacked their courtside seats with absolute dime pieces, IG models, and adult actresses. They literally only allowed females in the arena, and it worked to perfection. In his first season, Ankle Snatcher went on to break LeBron's all-time score record, average a sextuple double, and lead the Grizzlies to a 81-1 final record. The one loss was due to the new strictly implemented rule that bans any female over a six and under the age of 16 for Josh Giddy from attending NBA games. Without all his girlfriends, wives, and mistresses there, La Tomahawk got shut down. The playoffs are here now, and the Grizzlies need to find a way to get an attractive female in the arena, or they are screwed. Anyone got any ideas? Or is their historic season over? Missed it. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. These struggles continued into the playoffs as LeBron led the Lakers to a 3-0 series lead. Including this game-winner buzzer beater in Game 2, Lay Tomahawk and the Grizzlies couldn't stop the Lakers. No team in NBA history has ever came back from a 3-0 deficit. And after breaking down those first three games, it's safe to say that this series is over. LeBron had this to say after winning Game 3. What did it take to get it done tonight? We just didn't let any females into the arena. Told my wife to stay at home. La Tomahawk sucks when there's no big booty Latinas courtside. No cap. I had to wait outside until the game was over. Lay Tomahawk and the Grizzlies were honestly thinking about rolling over and accepting defeat until LeBron and his teammates poked the bear. If you have seen Ankle Snatcher videos before, you know he ain't going down without a fight. Up 119 to 95 in Game 4, the Lakers prematurely let in the players' wives to celebrate the series' win with four minutes left in the game. La Tomahawk's baddie senses picked up on the estrogen in the air, and he turned into Houston Rockets' Tracy McGrady. And he makes both free. You can't guard me. Who's this burger for you? Read him out, buddy. Lay Tomahawk sauces this no-name burger flipper and smacks a three to cut the lead to 15 and then crosses this DoorDash driver and smacks another one. The 4'11 menace picks off the pass like prime lay boomstick and heads over to the right wing for a cash out. Nine point lead now and La Tomahawk absolutely baptizes the unibrow. He comes all over him. The lead is down to seven now. Why is this bum still guarding me? I'm in the dome, buddy. Hey, I'm the best white boy. Ankle Snatcher silences Crypto Arena, cutting the lead two, and they send La Disney to the line. With the lead back to four, La Tomahawk exploits the mismatch and smacks another three in this toddler's eye socket. The glorified UPS driver makes his free throws, and now La Tomahawk has a chance to tie the game. Tremendous job stepping up in a big way for them at the strike. To tie it up. And it's good. Ice in his veins. The lab-generated menace completes the 24-point comeback. With the game on the line, late turnover throws an interception. Memphis calls a timeout for the last shot. Yo, LeBron, you really gonna have this bomb guard me for the last shot? You gotta bring the triple team on me, coach. I ain't passing the rock. For the win! Good! Another yeah, from three! That's one baby. Lay Tomahawk ain't going down without a fight. Here is what the GOAT had to say post-game. I ain't losing to some wannabe Jordan. He'll do whatever it takes to beat these bombs and take home LeBron's wife. Grizzlies in seven. Game five, here we go. Keep in mind, we are back in Memphis for game five, so Lay Tomahawk is going to have to win a game with no baddies in attendance to extend the series. So, Lay Tomahawk starts off the game hitting his big man for an easy fillet. Then next possession hits some no-name on his team with a needle-threaded lob. He knows he can't score with no females in attendance, so he just keeps dotting up his teammates with absolute dimes. His teammates have no room for error because these passes are majestic. 
One dime after another, Lay Tomahawk breaks the all-time playoff assist record in 10 minutes. Fast forward to five minutes left in the first and Ankle Snatcher has 40 assists. That dismantles the all-time record of 30. And he just keeps tacking on Dime after dime, ending the first half with 50 assists and leading the Grizzlies to a slight 108 to 10 lead. Point guards, if you're watching, get out a pen and paper and take notes on Latoma Hawks' sixth sense ability to throw absolute piss, missile needle threaded masterpiece dimes to his teammates. Watch here as La Disney puts up a weak layup. Get that ish out of here, little guy. La Tomahawk send that ball back to Ethiopia. With that, 98 assists now for the King. And La Tomahawk tosses his 100th assist in a single game. Some Wilt Chamberlain type stuff right here. Lay Tomahawk finished the game with 110 assists, a quadruple double and zero field goals attempted. Is this the craziest stat line of all time? The series is now a manageable three to two as we head back to Los Angeles for game six. Here we go. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. The three is up. Knocks down the triple. Let's the three fly. It goes. Yet to see a basket. All of a sudden, Lay Tomahawk looks like his regular season self before the rule change. And then it finally made sense. There are two female referees in tonight's officiating group, but it should also help LeBron because apparently he's had relations with both of them. LeBron, you dirty dog. Yo, Austin, you might want to step up. I'm about to splash this. from way outside. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Hey, watch this, buddy. Gets it off. Oh, he beats the buzzer just in time. Wow. Lay Tomahawk drops 49 in the first quarter to Memphis out front by 39 and opens the second quarter with a fadeaway Mona Lisa. And welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. This game and again for three. You guys have seen Lay Tomahawk take over any a few different occasions. So let's just skim through this game. I gave away one Lay Tomahawk jersey for every 1,000 likes the last video got. So let's run that back. All you gotta do to enter is comment your favorite Lay Steroid family member and smash that like button. Up 103 to 16 at half. The Lakers should have known to get a different officiating crew. LeBron could potentially be the first player in NBA history to come back from a 3-1 lead and then blow a 3-0 series lead. Not my goat. While you're at it, drop a comment. Either Team LeBron or Team Jordan. I want to get some heated debates cooking up in the comments. I'm going to hop in and bake on the LeBron Glazers. Peep this block by the four-foot midget. Bro looks like prime La Chase down. La Tomahawk dunks all over some idiot who decided to jump and gets a technical for hanging on the rim. Shouldering the offense. A few plays later, La Tomahawk sticks his nuts on him again and forgets to let go of the rim, which gets Bro ejected from the game. It's all good, though. Memphis wins and forces a game seven. Here's what Lay Tomahawk had to say post-game. Hey, Lay Tomahawk. Robin Banks from Piss Missile News. LeBron just said that you are the best player he's ever played against. Do you have anything nice you want to say about him? LeBron James sucks at basketball, and his wife is mid. I am going to reverse sweep that bomb and send him packing for Cancun. Start learning Chinese, buddy. Ni hao. What's up, sexy? She's a freak from your mama crib. You and your team played amazing tonight. What can we expect for game seven? My teammates blow. My coach is incompetent. And the city of Memphis is a dump. But I am still gonna put on a show in game seven. You heard the man. Get some popcorn and get ready for the craziest game you'll ever witness. Jumping in with four minutes left in the game, the Grizzlies find themselves down 17. We are going to need a miracle from the lab-generated legend. Lay Tomahawk smacks a double-teamed midi bag to take the lead to 15. Some Shanghai Sharks player has butterfingers and the Grizzlies get a turnover. 
Lay Tomahawk capitalizes on the mistake with a vigorous slam on LeBron's head top. The Lakers answer, but La Tomahawk trades another double-teamed mid-range with them. AD, you're too little, buddy. Tough little guy, you might want to step up. Green. That three cuts the lead to ten, and then this dunk cuts the lead to single digits. The Lakers score, but La Tomahawk wastes no time and buries a triple with less than two minutes to go. Only down seven. La Tomahawk tries to self-lob one on LeBron's head, but instead it results in a Laker bucket. Only a minute to go. Down seven. Tough to keep Anthony Davis off the glass. His length is definitely elite. Got that one. He is scorching the D. Exploding offensively. Lakers leading by four, hooked away. La Tomahawk steals the ball from La Turnover and the gotta foul him. La Tomahawk, who still has to shoot with his eyes closed, buried both the free throws. So we get pushes to James. La Brick chucks up some nonsense and La Tomahawk capitalizes in the other side. Wow, what a finish. The 4-11 midget delivers again and ties the game. With 13 seconds to go, Lay Tomahawk stabs a steal from Lay Turnover. He's going for the last shot. For the first time in his career, Lay Tomahawk makes a human-like error. In overtime, tied at 150, Austin Reeves disappoints the Caucasian race missing a wide open corner. Three, Lay Tomahawk snags the rebound and has another chance at the last shot. Puts up a deep three. He missed again. What is happening? We are going to double overtime. With 20 seconds to go, tie game. Late Tomahawk gets a huge chase down block, but they still score. The Grizzlies call a timeout down two with 2.3 seconds remaining. Game seven on the line. What a finish we got here. Legacies on the line. The Grizzlies need a miracle. The Tomahawk looks to be drawing up a play in the Grizzlies huddle. And here we go. They did it, they did it. La Tomahawk comes back from a 3-0 series deficit to beat LeBron and the Lakers. Wow, what an ending to an unforgettable game. Seven. Lay Tomahawk hit a buzzer beater game winner in game four, dropped 110 assists in game five, 200 points in game six, and this masterclass performance here in game seven, LeBron is heading to Cancun and La Tomahawk and the Grizzlies survive to see another day. If you watched all the way to this point, drop a comment and I'll try to respond to as many as I can. Drop a like, because these videos take a while to make. 4,000 likes and I'll post the rest of the playoffs. Subscribe if you want to see La Tomahawk on the cover, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.